morning, 4.30 in the morning, and I'm on my way to Jerusalem, a two-hour drive, and I want to get there for the sunrise uh, to Gazelle Valley to photograph gazelles. Let's hope it's going to be very, very hot today, so wish me luck. Okay, I've arrived to Gazelle Valley, which is a nature reserve in the center of Jerusalem. It's beautiful here. And we're going to look for uh, wild gazelles. I think I can spot one already. Oh, look. During the coronavirus, when people were in lockdown, lots of wildlife went into the street and got into people's backyards. This is why a place like this is so important, to have a nature reserve for the wildlife who are looking for places to eat, to live and to be safe. I'm really thankful for this place and let's hope for other cities to make places like this for their wildlife. difficult to find them between the, the bush bushes They're very fast birds and ducks and ducklings and toads <laughs> so many amazing wildlife around here in the center of Jerusalem it's amazing I love to watch this kingfisher. He stays in one place, he looks around, looks for fish, and then suddenly out of nowhere he just dives in, grabs a fish. It all takes just a few seconds and I need to get a photo in those seconds and make sure that it's focused. It's not an easy task, but I managed to get a photo or two. And then I realized that after eating, he just dives in to take a bath and he just cleans his feather and then flies away. It's all a matter of minutes. Uh, Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And how are you? Hi, this is Amir, a really good friend of mine. He's one of the founders of this beautiful place. 
please tell us a little bit about this. Well, we're yeah. sitting right now in the uh, photographer's hide in um, the Gazelle Valley Park in Jerusalem. It's our largest uh, community urban wildlife site to this date in Israel. And it was created uh, through a very long and tedious pro uh, uh, process where the community around us fought a big development project and won. A coalition around the Gazelle Valley Park managed to create with the municipality of Jerusalem one of Israel's most beautiful urban nature sites. It is amazing. I bet it wasn't easy because this land is very expensive it's in the center of Jerusalem. Yeah. So when we're here, we can enjoy city life and nature at the same time. That's the most important thing. So aside for photographers, do people really appreciate this? Because there's not many places in Israel that, that is so dedicated to wildlife like this place. In order to enjoy real wildlife, you have to travel out of town. Having a great nature site close to home, 100 meters away, is quite an asset. Can you tell me about the n numbers? We started off with six gazelles, now we're over 60. We have about uh, 250 species of birds that we've identified here uh, through our research and monitoring program. There's no entrance fee. They, they ask themselves, why don't we have such a, a park or a hide like this where we live in Ashdod Close to or home. Haifa? And I tell them, Start pressuring your municipality. Or I'm really happy to take a part of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Waking up so early and coming to Jerusalem at four in the morning was really, really worth it because, well, every time I come here, I'm really excited to see, first of all, all the people that interact with nature. And it's so important to have this natural habitat in the center of this big, big city. And the fact that we have the coronavirus now, having places like this makes me really, really happy to connect to nature in a way that uh, I can't do in many places now. So at least I have this. I'm really happy that it's relatively close. And I'm really happy to see that people and children come over here. Uh, they learn a lot about nature in the city. I'm definitely going to come back here and I'm really thankful for Amir for coming and explaining about this beautiful project. I hope you enjoyed this and if you want to join me on my next adventures in Israel and around the world, you're welcome to subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye!